Howdy, everyone. All right, so here is that same piece after the initial scraping all the way around and a little bit of filing just to clean up the cut edge. This is not quite complete yet, but at least I got the powder coat off. Another tool that I used a little bit is one of these. This is basically a copper tube cleaner. I don't know if you can see down in there. It's basically like a wire brush. And you can see it's got the size stamped on it right at the top here. This is for a three quarter inch tubing. This is basically just to clean the uh, copper tubing for water before you solder. This works fairly well on this tubing, but um, it's a little too big for this tube. It does work. This one's pretty old. I've used this one quite a bit on copper tubing when I do plumbing. So maybe it's just wore out. But again, you can use this to clean up that end a little bit. But ultimately, I, I just like using sandpaper to clean it off. But you can see when you scrape down to the edge, I got to do some more scraping. But you can see it does leave a little bit of a cleaner cut, if you will, if you score it first. All right, so let me get this cleaned up. I'm going to go ahead and install the uh, this the block that needs to go on this side and do my drilling and different things. Let me get that done and then I'll come back. Howdy everyone. All right, so let's see, what have I done? Obviously I have cut off the other end of the um, the latch mechanism. This used to be a solid piece of course with the three quarter inch metal tube that ran across to the other side. Both hooks have now been cut off. I've got the other one temporarily installed there. And I just finished cutting this one off and installing the extra block here on this side. Then I went ahead and I cleaned this piece up. So this piece is ready to roll. And then I drilled out to final size the holes on these two white powder coated brackets and fitted those to the bulkhead. So at this point, what I need to do, which I've already done, I need to use some kind of a mechanism to attach this arm here to the new arm that I'm going to put on the back side. So for now, I don't know if this is going to work, but for now I just used a, uh, a uh, turnbuckle fork that I had, I just happened to have laying around. And using this arm as a guide, you can locate, if, a, if you swing the arm in toward the upright, you can kind of get an idea of where you need to drill the hole in this bulkhead for this fitting to pass through. Now it just so happens when I did that, there's a rivet right there. Not quite on, not entirely in line with this, but it was close enough that all I did was drill the rivet out and then I used a step drill in that hole and enlarged it to a half inch. So there's the hole with the, uh, the fork coming through right here. So that hole is centered on the bulkhead because that's I just used the existing rivet. It's not quite centered with the arm that's on the other side, but it's close enough that I just used it. I may have to file it. I don't know if I'll have to file it down or file it over, um, depending on how that arm swings. But for now it works. You can see I don't have any nuts on anything back here yet. But if I rotate that, you can see how that comes through. 
All right, so now I'm not really sure what comes next. Let me give this some thought and uh, let me get a game plan together in my head and I'll move on. But so far, so good. Howdy, everyone. Back at the airplane, you can see that I now have this linkage here connected to the bottom of this arm and the connection point on the lever arm here. This lever arm goes forward and connects to the latch mechanism that we had talked about earlier. So what you need to do is these, these two metal links are supplied in the kit and you basically just fit them between these two arms uh, by twisting them and bending them so that they fit nicely between the two. You'll see when you go to do the assembly, this angle, this bracket here is angled. This assembly is, is rotated like this. And this arm, of course, is attached to that. So this arm is on a different plane than this arm, if you will. So when you connect the two with these linkages, the linkages have to be bent in such a way that they lay flat on this arm on this end and as they transition up to lay flat on this arm you kind of got to give them a twist and maybe a little bit of a bend. I recommend you take your time doing this and of course I recommend doing it real world in the airplane so you can get them just right. Make sure things are bolted in place and um, Spend some time getting those bends just right because it, it has a huge effect on how the mechanism works, how smooth it's going to operate, and you don't want any binding or, or anything, of course. So make sure you spend some time and get these bent just right. So the other thing that I have done is I've got my hole here through the bulkhead. You can see that I've fit... Temporarily, I have fit a uh, AN fork, and this is going to make the transition from the front of the bulkhead to the back of the bulkhead for my secondary um, latch mechanism that's going to run across the back. I'll talk about that here in a minute. So what I had done was I fit the fork. You can see it here. I've got the fork here. And you'll note that I have, I don't know if I can get that in view, but I have the strap, then the fork, and on the other side I have the strap on the inside of the fork. So on this side, this strap is on the outside of the fork, and on this side, the strap is underneath the fork. And the reason I did that was, like I said, the hole in the bulkhead I just drilled it where I had removed the rivet. So the hole through the bulkhead is centered on the bulkhead. But this arm is not exactly centered. So when the fork passes through the hole, it doesn't pass exactly centered through the hole. I needed to move it. The fork needed to be moved over a little bit. Plus, the opening of the fork is wider than the thickness of this arm. So I needed to put some kind of spacer between the arm and the fork anyway. So the way that I have the strap set up, it takes care of both things. It moves the fork over a little bit, the thickness of the strap, and then the strap itself being between the fork acts as um, a, a washer or a spacer, if you will, to take up some of the slot. So again, it's, this is just laying in here. This is all temporary, just so I can get a feel for what I need to work on. So the straps are in place, I've got the fork in place, and it does pass through the hole quite nicely. You can see it's just about perfectly centered now, which is great. I really didn't expect that, but it worked out well. So now I have another complete hook assembly, which is here. And you'll notice that the hooks are gone. So this was another complete assembly from Vans, and I cut the hooks off of it. I think I've got one in my trash. Yeah. So there's the hook that I cut off, and of course, this was basically 
here. So you cut these off. You want to finish these off nice. You don't want to cut. I could have cut. I don't know if that line is visible, but there's a black line there. This material back on this side of the line, I didn't want to take any of this off because I wanted to keep a good portion of this weld. So I basically just lopped it off from the bottom and I drew a line basically perpendicular from the center of the tube up to the edge here. So I basically just drew a line from the, the uh, middle part of the tube up to that curve. And then I just marked a line from that point down to the bottom here. And that's where I made my cut. It was just a single straight cut. Again, you can see it on the hook like that. It was just a single diagonal cut. And that left me a decent amount of weld on this remaining piece all the way around. And I just cleaned it up with a, with a, uh, a belt sander and a file. You do that on both ends, of course. And you'll have to buy some extra uh, C, what are these, 611, C611 blocks. You need a total of six to do the entire installation. And you need two of these assemblies. And then you'll need the, the extra hardware for the blocks. Okay, so here's the other piece. I've already cut the ears off. It's already cleaned up and ready to go. Now I need to position this piece on the back side of the bulkhead here. So the latch mechanism on the front traverses through the bulkhead via this fork here. And now the assembly that I just showed you with the hooks cut off of it, it's got to be mounted back here and run across to the other side where again I'll have a, an assembly that will pass through the bulkhead and connect to that assembly to actuate the latch. Now again, like I said, this is the uh, almost, almost, wow, the anti-splat almost 14 seat mod rail, which allows the back of the seats to come back quite a bit. I've temporarily put my seat back in. I've taken the flap completely off. And if I lay this all the way back, right onto the bar, that's as far back as it will go. That's the extreme uh, in the incline, if you will, with the, if I put the, the flap onto the seat, it prevents the seat from coming all the way back. It will actually stop about an inch before coming all the way back. So with that flap removed, that's as far back as this seat is ever going to go. With the seat in this position here, I've already test fit that secondary rod that's going to pass through here and there's no interference. It's close, but there's no interference. You'll also note, let me get this back on here, standby, okay. You'll also note that this is a channel, so you have to put spacers underneath the mounting block to bring the block back so that the, the uh, tube will clear this channel. So by doing that, it also clears the back of the seat. So you can make those spacers as, as long as you need them to be to make sure that the block sticks out far enough so that the tube clears the bulkhead and it also clears the back of the seat. And I'll, I'll show you that when I get to it. But for now, I have to locate the position of that secondary tube. And I have to start making spaces for the blocks. All right? Okay. Talk to you soon.